You know, there's a story about that today up on the main page, and credit on this one goes to Josh Nason. Uh, WWE exclusive TV rights negotiating windows closed with NBC, Universal, and Fox. Not a surprise. We knew that was coming as far as exclusive negotiating rights go. Foxes had passed quite some time ago. Now NBC Universals has passed. And, you know, Andrew Marchand of the New York Post stated, quote, Amazon Prime Video will be in talks for WWE, and you can see how it fits in with their strategy, end quote. Given the deal for given their NFL deal for Thursday night games and bidding for college football's Big Ten conference. Now, I, I have not reached out to Josh because, again, I only knew a little bit before the show uh, that I was going to be doing it solo today. But I don't believe that that is correct. The Big Ten has already got a game uh, nationally on Fox on Saturdays. Uh, the Big Ten network is owned by Fox. I had heard that Amazon was making a play for the Pac-12 and that they wanted to have a themed Friday night game coming out of the Pac-12. Now, again, do they want to do something with the Big Ten? If I'm Amazon, you bet I do. You know, when you look at, again, not only the location of those schools or the, the status of those schools, but the location of those schools. There was a reason that the Big Ten wanted Penn State and Rutgers to be part of basically, or Maryland and Rutgers to be part of a a Midwest association of schools for the most part. And that's because they wanted the New York and D.C. markets. And we see how that is paid off for them with the exception of the SEC. I don't believe anybody makes any more money than the Big Ten Conference does. The problem with this, though, is I still think at this point in the game, for this TV negotiations deal for the next four years and possibly five years that you would have to sign on to, I think it would be a mistake for WWE to move to Amazon. I just don't think it's the right idea. Sure, they could get a bunch more money because Amazon would give them a third hour of SmackDown for sure. And you can have an 8 to 11 block where it's all night. Come on on Amazon and check it out. To me, it doesn't make any sense at all unless you're bringing over the entire WWE Network library so that can now be a part of Amazon. If they can take that away from Peacock, I can see how that deal makes sense. The problem with Amazon and WWE right now is where have we seen that it has been a draw enough to keep people there? Sure, people watch football, but then they go. Is WWE going to be enough of a draw for people? And frankly... Is it in WWE's best interest to take that risk and then lose some share and then come out of that for the next TV deal with their hat in hand? Got a lot more stuff to get into when we get back from break. Wrestling Observer Live. Show Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper VB here with you. Hey, make the wrestling news a part of your day. Everything you need to know from around the world of wrestling to get your day started, get you up to date or get you to your favorite long-form review pod like Wrestling Observer Radio with Dave and Brian. Daily, free, and between 5 and 15 minutes long every single day. No clickbait, no speculation, no rumors, no paywall, just the wrestling news. For more information on that, you can head over to the wrestlingnews.com and at Wrestling News AV on Facebook and Twitter. Boy, boss man would hate this chat today. A bunch of banter about college football and networks and conferences and such going on in there. And I, I mentioned a little bit earlier on that uh, Amazon and the Pac-12, uh, look, that may not even be a deal that comes to fruition. There have been multiple reports in the last really about two months or ago, so ago, really in May is when a lot of these uh, reports started coming out that the Pac-12 is not sold on Amazon, and that's with them losing USC. That's with them losing UCLA in a couple of years. That's with them uh, staring down the barrel of uh, AAU-accredited schools like I believe Colorado is and Arizona and Stanford and schools like that that may be looking to get away from them uh, now that USC and UCLA are gone or at least possibly going somewhere else. You know, I... Apple TV may be in play for it as well, too, the same way they may be in play for WWE. But again, 
you know, is their one baseball game a week on Fridays enough of a draw for them? I don't know how their original Apple programming does, whether it's, you know, it creates a a destination night. And that's essentially what Amazon would be giving WWE. And again, on the surface, if you're looking at it through just the money, that may be the way to go. But again, as far as visibility goes, as far as the role you're on right now, as far as taking a look into the future in the next three to five years and uh, what are things going to look like? Look how thing fast things have changed for all these streaming services anyway. You know, and one thing that Fox has under going for them is Tubi, which they have not done a lot with. And they had talked about a couple of years ago, really pouring a lot of resources into that, making it the uh, the the true alternative uh, as far as people who are pulling the cord on things and not jumping on a, a different type of streaming service like a Hulu or a YouTube TV. You know what Pluto TV gives them. You know, it looked like Fox was going to do that with Tubi. Now, they really haven't. So, again, in as the future rolls on, is that an option that they're going to be able to, Fox has, that they're going to be able to offer up to WWE as something where they can add programming to it or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I know the money is big on all this stuff right now, but... Who knows where we're going to be, again, just even in a few months. And the idea of ESPN, because this comes up all the time. It always comes up. Every negotiations deal, it always comes up. Disney's got interest. And what kind of partner would ESPN be? And I think they would be a terrible partner. And it's not because they would not put in the work to do it. It's not because I don't think that there's people at the, the top levels of, of WWE that couldn't work with the top brass at ESPN. It's got nothing to do with that, but it's got everything to do with it. If you're WWE, why do you want to be at the mercy of all these other sports leagues? Why? It, it doesn't, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Why do you want, unless you have a, a rock solid iron, guarantee that raw is never going to be moved off monday and it's always going to be the lead in the sports center no way that's going to happen there's it's just not possible with the money that they pay out for college forget about college football and forget about some of the pro stuff but college basketball and all of the other things that, that they have on their channels again they have a zillion networks but how often do you watch espn news you know, I don't I think ESPN Classic is now long gone. But, you know, when you go through these other channels, like how often do you watch them? So SmackDown, you know, to me, it's a lot better for SmackDown to get bumped off of Fox to FS1 than it would be for, you know, them to get bumped off of ESPN and go to ESPN2 or Plus or Now or whatever it would be. It just it doesn't seem like it would make a whole lot of sense to me. So. I always, again, it's a nice negotiating tactic for for WWE to try to throw out there at Fox and NBC and anybody else who could be bidding on them that, hey, you know, we have some interest from Disney, but go ahead and tell me how long-term that makes any sense for WWE unless it includes a deal to get SmackDown on ABC on Friday or Raw on Monday on ABC, then things start to change a little bit because then it's a lateral move, some could say. Again, Fox has got a very themed way that they've been doing their Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when it comes to sports. So would ABC be willing to do that? You know, we'll see. I just, I, I don't think that that would be the case. But to me, that would be the only way if I'm WWE that I would want to jump on a deal if it came from Disney. But this plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh no. Dog! Hit that music, brother!
Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, 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 no. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.